Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm EVM. This is kind of a back to the basics video that I've not done for quite a while actually, where I'm basically trying to help someone who's getting into an EV, people who are looking into it for the first time. This is about chargers. So if you're lucky enough to be able to get a charger at your house, if you're off-road parking, for example, then we're going to look at the question of whether or not you should go tethered or untethered. Yes, very exciting. Now, I think the first place to start is what is tethered, what is untethered, starting with my charger, which is tethered. It's very straightforward. Essentially, this is the uh, box, the charger, and the cable isn't designed to be removed. It is tethered to the charger. It's hardwired. Essentially, you've got the plug on the end and you just, well, plug this into your car. So you always have a cable there you always have a plug ready to go into the car. It's tethered. So that's what that is. This is an untethered. But we're missing something. Aha! What are you doing here? Uh, yes, I've had to borrow your house, I'm afraid. This is Harry's new charger. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? Easy one. Look how small it is. Um, and how often do you charge your uh, Audi S1 using this charger? Every day. Every day, that's brilliant. <laughs> so we haven't got the EV yet, we've got the charger first. No, no, I couldn't afford the EV. Um, so, right. Uh, Effectively, untethered is mm -hmm. the opposite in the fact that there's no cable physically attached to it. Just it's the socket. A, yeah, it's just a socket. So if you could pick that cable up for me. So you plug that in and then you plug the car in. So this is effectively untethered. It's a socket. Wait a tick. That looks really well installed. It's amazing, isn't it? Mine was really well installed. And was I, it? I used a nationwide company that installs charge points anywhere in the UK and has a really good website with lots of choice of chargers. Wow. Who did you use to install? Smart Home Charge, funnily enough. Smart Home Charge. That's who I used. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, wow. So look at that. I mean, it couldn't be any neater. It couldn't be, could it? There's no, there's no, it's, all the cables are hidden behind it. Where's the cable go? It's like magic. And did it happen swift and effectively? So I got a phone call and then the very next day they turned up. At on time. On time? Yep, installed with no problems. The guy liked tea and coffee. He okay. tidied up after himself. He tidied up? And he was friendly. What more could you ask for? If you want to look on their website, they've got all chargers that will be perfect for your EV. They've got uh, uh, lots of comparison of chargers. Yeah, you've got tethered, untethered. There's lots of guides on there. And they've got something called Klarna, which means if you can't afford to pay what are now fairly expensive items because the grant's been removed, you can get some sort of finance Spread on Spread the that. cost. Spread the cost, there yeah. you go. If you get an installation through Smart Home Charge, you'll also get £20 added to your electric juice card. If you don't have one, go get one. But if you do, there you go. It's basically just free money. Right, what else have we got to contractually read out? I think I should put on the screen here the Trustpilot review score. Put it right here. Just hang on there. Uh, so, okay, thanks for them. Uh, let's, let's carry on. Yeah. So I've got a tethered. Yeah. You chose untethered. Yeah, did you? Um, after all the choices that you had. For me, it's better for the house is untethered. It looks neat, yeah? It looks neat. You haven't got a coiled up cable. Well, the thing is, my neighbours didn't even know I had it done. Yeah, because it's, it, it's, it's just very yeah. unobtrusive. Yeah. However, when you're charging your car on a semi-daily basis, having ah. to get the cable in and out and in and out yeah. will soon become very tiring, which is why I went for tethered. Because all I do is pick up a cable, plug it in. That's one operation. Yeah. I think if you, if you are charging on a daily basis or mm. every other day, I would have gone for... Uh, maybe look at a tethered. You're plugging one thing in. With yeah. this, you're plugging one, two things in. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound a lot, but when it's middle of winter and it's chucking it down, getting oh. your cable out of the boot's a bit of a pain well, in the Well, the thing butt. is, if you've got a boot full, if you've got a pram in there... So you're going to have to make sure it's always on top yeah. or the front. Also, the you... cable's going to get dirty. So effectively, I would say that the convenience is with tethered. I would say so, yeah. Especially, and that's what the nearly seven years of EV driving has taught me, because I plug my car in a lot, and I want that to be convenient in all weathers over the aesthetics, aesthetics of a charger. Yeah. However, I couldn't understand why people would pick that. Well, this one in particular, you can lock your cable to it. Yes, so it's almost a tethered and, and untethered. And I think it is the only one. It's the easy one. Um, so you can lock this in, even if your car isn't plugged you in. Because normally it's, it's, you have to have, have the I would in. say one disadvantage of that. Okay. If someone is intent on nicking the cable, not only have they got your cable, they've knackered your charger as well. Well, I'll tell you what, let's mention that because anyone can steal anything. 
a tethered charger can only be physically cut, can't it? Yep. So they're taking your cable and presumably weighing it in. It's going to be pretty worthless afterwards. It's not, I don't cutting, think cutting through a cable like... Mm. I mean, yeah, they might do it, but I don't think they'll get, any, they'll get no, pennies from yeah, it, won't it's, they? It's... So, whereas a cable, a complete cable such as this, yeah. that's got to be a 100 quid on eBay or Gumtree yeah. or wherever. Exactly. So if they're thinking, I can steal a full product, yeah. all they have to do is get it out of here. Yeah. I mean, we've had this in our, in our normal work environment, haven't we? Over the last couple of decades, lots of schools, because we work in schools in IT, got lots of projectors. They did. And projectors were very much targeted, very much stolen. So then lots of schools started to get projector cages. They did. Yeah. And what happened then once they protected their projectors from well, the cage? Well, what cage? you do is, uh, jo jo Bill, or is it Bill? Uh, I think I'll start that again. <laughs> <laughs> so what you had, you had burglar Bill coming into the school uh -huh. and then just swinging on the projector cage and pulling the roof down. So essentially, to get to the projector, they did so much damage to the roof. That it was pointless. Schools yeah. then stopped yeah. putting projector cages. It cost in. so much to fix the roof that it'd been better for them just to leave the projector outside the school. And I mean, I should point out, it's it? going to be very rare that anybody does this, I think. I've not heard a single person have their cable taken, cut or anything. I've, but, seen, but, I've seen public chargers do it when they get ultra common. Oh, yeah. As in, everyone's got a charge which well, normal. Do you know what? It's going to be targeted more. I think it's going to be one of those things where, you know, sometimes you get people walking around at night, checking car doors, going through your glove box. They see a cable dangling out of a charger. They're That's gonna, sellable. Yeah, you know, even if it's 50 quid. And undamaged. It's more vulnerable tethered. Uh, sorry, untethered. This is more... I would say it's more vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the fact you can lock it in there is brilliant, but I don't think you're going to secure it in the same way as a tethered. And also, a tethered isn't going to have the resale of a non-tethered cable. Right, so there's a bit of a disincentive for people to tick, yeah. to steal it. Essentially, though, if someone's going to nick some cable, I think yeah. they're going to nick some cable. Out yes, this. but I, I do like the, the idea that they've done here where you oh, can you create can. a tethered or untethered because it gives you... If, if I was selling a charge point, mm -hmm. right, if we were making this, I'd be like, hang on a minute, this way anyone can buy my Best charger both worlds. because they can get any length of cable, yeah. any type of cable, mm -hmm. you know, like type 1, type 2. So 100% of the market can buy my product. But, but does it mean you need two cables? Do you need a cable to be stuck in there permanently and one in your boot for when you forget the cable that's stuck in there permanently? <laughs> that is a point. And not every car comes with a Type 2 cable as well. No. The barn only came with a Type 2 cable. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, it might increase costs because you, you might want a second cable. I mean, I do, I do very little Type 2 charging no, on it's, the public it's, network. But I'd prefer a free pin. Yeah. But the, the, the day would come, wouldn't it, where you go, right... Uh, we're on, here for we're on holiday or yeah, we've yeah. gone away for a day. Oh no, it's plugged into my house still. I haven't got my cable with me. So what am I going to do? I'm going to have to find a rapid. Yeah. Shall, shall we say a massive benefit of untethered? If you need more than, uh, well, ten most, cha most tethered come with five metres, yeah. but some have options of seven or ten metres. Yeah, yeah. If you need longer than ten metres, you have to get that yeah. and then buy your buy own cable. cable. Oh, uh, we're being interrupted by um, Harry's lion. Believe it or not, that's a cat. Did he also go down? Oh, <laughs> he didn't want to be in it. It's <laughs> no. not like Homer, he likes to be in it. No. So if, if you need longer than 10 metres, you have to get untethered. Yeah. If you But again, in the, I, don't, I don't see a, a situation where you're going to need more than 10 metres, because surely you'd put your charger where your car's charging. I guess, if you've got this here. Unless you had some really bizarre sort of uh, place. Or a long driveway? What, the, the Earl of Essex. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, put it at the end of my driveway. I mean, a lot, a, quite a few people have made this mistake, I think, where they bought the charger. Like, you, you start off with a Nissan Leaf years ago. I had a Nissan Leaf, the charge point's on the front. Yeah. So you drive into your driveway, click. So you think, oh, that'll do. I'll put it there, I can easily reach yeah, it. And, then, and you, then you get another car yeah. where the charge point's on the back and you might have to drive in for whatever reason. But basically, all of a sudden, the charge cable has to reach round the other yeah. side. So you really do need to think about where well, you're putting the charger. Can it reach everywhere? Not having an EV was one of the reasons I got one where I could change the cable if needs be. Yes. Because when I get one, I don't know where Well, they're all I'm type two, but like you say, yeah, it yeah. could be anywhere. Yeah. My IT nerd brain mm -hmm. would say that this, the flexibility of this would give me all options. So I would go for that. But then when Have you live with, with it, it yeah. I would go with tethered yeah. because it is so much more convenient. My cable stays in my car yeah. rather than into the charger. If it's you just a, the thing that bothered me, though, is just the cable management of it. Well, yes, yeah, you don't want to pick that up if uh, we've got audio cables tangling everyone. <laughs> so we're, we're good, aren't we? We're really yeah, good. It's professional. So... This would have to go somewhere like that, wouldn't it? There I mean, we go. You'd have a hook down here or, yeah, up there, there. or maybe around the side. Yeah. But it's just I know a lot of people bit. that wouldn't be happy with that permanently on the outside no. of their car. However, car, uh, house. house. <laughs> <laughs> However, you would probably more, be more happy with that than 
having to get it out of your boot every single time you charge. I think so, yeah. I think the thing that will bug me having to get it out all the time is just how dirty that will get in the rain, winter, all the grime and stuff on the floor. Would it's... it increase the wear and tear because you're plugging the cable in at both ends ah. to the point where it won't last as long? I guess there are people out there because the, the Nissan Leaf, the first one anyway, the Kia Soul first gen, and a couple of, uh, I think the Ion and what, yeah. had Type 1 cables. But for the last three, four, five years-ish, I think all of them are Type 2. So there's no... The majority of people are going to yeah. be Type 2, aren't they? And if it came to it and someone visited me with the Nissan Leaf, I'd just use a slapping plug socket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm not going to get a charger for the occasional visitor. No, no, no. I'm basing no. it on what I need, what not. What, well, exactly. What You've got to use... It's basically what, what you're going to be doing 99% of the time. Yeah. It's more expensive, I think, as well, to buy a separate charger and cable... Oh, it will be. ...than yeah. it is a tethered one. Because the cable's that cheap, aren't it? But... If you're using the cable that came with your car, then it could be cheaper. Yeah. Uh, let's go for the con of the tethered one I've got home. Yeah. Obviously, you can't take it with you, but most people would have Type 2 with the car anyway. Yeah, so that, yeah. that, that's, that, I'm not seeing that as a con. I guess if something happens to the cable, do you have to replace the charge point? I know you can, re, I, uh, you can rewire uh, even a tethered one. I bet you could get some. But you need an electrician for well, it. Well, yeah. But you, get... you can replace your cable yourself with an untethered. In the chance of that happening, I don't think the cost of an electrician in the new cable is going to be enough to make you want well, it's to a possible go. Con. I mean, cable length, but I guess you'd have to be an absolute muppet, wouldn't you, to get... <laughs> oh, give us just one and a half metres. <laughs> <laughs> I think five metres is the minimum. Yeah. And that, and I, I do know someone that, that they said it just reaches their car. It's like, well, well, you go for a seven. Did, did, did you not, when you were spending what is hundreds of pounds, possibly over a thousand pounds, depending on the point? Yeah. Do your research. Get yeah, a tape did, measure. Did you get your tape measure out? Yeah. Think about where you're going to put the charge point. In to relation to where the charger is on your car. On any car. I mean, we had uh, quite a long drive in this last house. Five metres wouldn't have cut it because it was, you, know, no. you could fit two cars You'd like You'd have to have put it in your garage, wouldn't you, the charger probably? Well, most people, I think, would attach it to the house because it's cheaper to install when yeah, it's yeah. going to the house. Because, like you say, if you're going to have to put a cable underneath the ground to wherever the charge point is going, it's going to be, a bit it's going to be more expensive. Yeah. I you know what, I'd love to be able to give you some good advice on this. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the, the, the main advice is you've got to think about it. Yeah. What is best for us? Will we ever charge a Type 1 car? No. Or do I care about people that turn up and have a Type 1 car, my friends? No. So therefore, I don't need to worry about that. Do yeah. I need to change the cable length of my charger? No. no. Once you've got it the longest, you don't need yeah. to change it at all. Are you bothered about the cable being there? It's going to be there anyway, though, isn't yeah. it, I think? You're because you're either going to lock it in... Oh, oh, the pussycat's back. You're either going to lock it in, aren't you? Yeah. Or... Uh, be in and out of your garage your car on a daily basis. Which is going to be very annoying. tiring, yeah. very quickly. Yeah. I mean, I've done a Twitter poll, actually. So we see what Have Twitter you? think of whether... Would you, buy, would you buy a tethered or untethered now? Let me just get before. 68% of people would go for tethered. Wow. So 32, obviously, would yeah, go yeah. for untethered. And 10% didn't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the conclusion to this is it's up to you. Yeah. That's really bad. Ad wow. That's the best advice That's we good can advice. give you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think we'll give that to our you can't, children? You cannot make a bad decision. <laughs> as long no. as you do your planning and have a really good think about it. I think what you've also got to put in your head living with the car. Yeah. On a daily basis. On a daily basis. So, I mean, the trouble is most people, and we've said this very well, much, get the charge point before the car turns up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah the thing is, people don't know what it's like to live with until they get I think it's the same one. with baby stuff. Yeah, the amount of stuff. Oh God, I, I bought everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never used yeah. that no, no, ever. Just went on eBay, like you know, six months later. Yeah, I think probably have the car and then get the charger. Yeah. For those that are unfamiliar with EVs, public chargers are typically untethered. I'm talking fast chargers now, AC ones, because you, you take your own cable, which is why you have your own cable in the car. Rapid chargers, the ones that you see at services, you know, the big massive ones that do 50 to 300 they're kilowatts, they're all tethered because, quite frankly, you, you don't want size those cables. You don't want people <laughs> using their own cables when potentially 300 odd kilowatts of yeah, energy yeah, yeah, is going yeah. through it. Uh, and they're the ones that I have seen being targeted by thieves. Literally wow. cut them off, but they, they're, they're, they're that they're thick. They're massive, out there. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. probably worth their while, I guess. So, in terms of thievery, I have done a, a video on this in the past about whether someone will steal your electricity. We've obviously mentioned whether someone's going to steal your cable or yeah. charge point already, but I think we just need to dab into the someone stealing your electric again, it comes up a lot. Electric version of bilking? Pretty much, yes. Now, it won't happen, okay? Or rather, if anyone does it, they'll only do it once as a stupid thief, because think about it, at its max output, seven kilowatt, I yeah. know there are losses, blah, 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 but let's even it out for, for let's say you get seven. to make it easy. Seven kilowatt times 
30p is it at the moment? Yeah, yeah. During the day, which is very expensive. So that's what, seven, four, two, eight, two, pound, two pound ten ish. Yeah. Let's call it two pound twenty to be on the safe side. Two pound twenty an hour is what it would cost you. So do you really think that a thief is going to drive a car? An EV? Yeah, an electric car. <laughs> yeah. Park on your drive for two pound ten an hour saving. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah. <laughs> You've got to work today, love. No, no, I, but what I did do, I got, I, I got a full charge. <laughs> and most chargers, like this one, the easy one, that, the easy one's got an app, hasn't it? Yeah, I, I get a no, uh, push notification whenever that starts charging. I can see them using someone's stolen card to get a rapid charge for free, but that, at home, I really wouldn't worry about no, it. No, 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 no. Um, so, anything more in terms of tethered, untethered, that's... that you think is worth mentioning? No. Because for me, again, let's, let's reiterate, down to personal needs. Yep. Tethered is more convenient. It is. Probably cheaper, depending on whether your car cable. I think cable. it's going to be cheaper, isn't it? Because you, you get to keep the cable in your car as well. Yes, you won't ever be stranded by going, oops, I've left my cable in, in there, here, yep. as opposed to in the car. Which I think is where it would live most of the time. Yeah. However, untethered, if you need the extra length, you don't have a choice. You can buy your own cable. You can get a 15 metre yeah. one, I imagine. If you You've need got an older car. Uh, as yes, well as. if you need type one and type two. Ultimately, tethered is the one I would pick. You picked that because it suits you. Yeah, why well, don't charge on a daily basis? We've, we've just basically spent, what, 10, 15 minutes, maybe more of your time telling you that you need to do all and the work yourself. At the end of all this, yeah, you've just gone, I'm not, I'm not, none of a clearer. None the really. wiser. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Smart Home Charge. For, Thank you very again, much. For sponsoring the channel. It does Thank help. You. It, it absolutely does, because I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for sponsorships, quite frankly. Um, and thank you to you guys for, for watching. watching. Yeah. And a bigger thank you, because the more important, the members that pay 99p oh, a month. Yeah. They get videos a week early and unique members only videos like the one I've just put up a few days ago, perhaps, maybe. Wow. The that Goodwood video. The Goodwood video. That is for members only. Ah, you'll never get it on this channel, will they? No, no. if you want to watch my mum, uh, EV grandma, ah, right. critiquing an EV6. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, well worth a watch. Members only only. Anyway. Even I have to pay. I think we're done. Yeah, thank you. Good night, good morning, good evening. Yeah, all that sort of stuff, I suppose. Oh, like, subscribe, podcast. <coughs> Yeah, we're doing a podcast, but we've been saying that for two weeks now and we still haven't finished. I think we're going to try and do one tonight. Yeah, again. So, that might be, driving home. That OHM. might be not tonight, though. That might be when you are watching it two weeks ago. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>